And welcome to Currencies Direct Weekly Podcast for Monday, the 17th of January. A new year, and with it comes a host of new challenges to our beloved brand. What does it? The local unit starts 2022 on the front foot, with the currency having gained more than 3% against the majors thus far. The rand starts the new week at 1540 against the US dollar, after having reached 1528 last Wednesday. EM currencies have benefited from a positive trading environment due to ongoing data revealing the Omicron variant is less harmful than originally feared. This coupled with optimism that 2022 would see the world move from a pandemic to endemic has fueled risk on sentiment. An all too familiar topic for global markets, and although it is a new year, the economic narrative has not changed either. Over in the United States is where markets are fully focused. First, non-farm payrolls data released earlier this month fell short of market expectation, having created 199,000 jobs versus the 422,000 expected. The next key event for the Fed was the release of inflation data, which was expected to support an aggressive monetary tightening policy. In between the two main drivers for the Fed, Chair Jerome Powell testified to Congress at Capitol Hill, where he provided an overview of the economic and monetary policy. This time, though, Powell did not sound as hawkish as expected, stating that the Fed is just going to be moving over the course of this year to a policy that is closer to normal, but it's a long road from where we are, as he charted out a path out of the pandemic policy setting. The result of which saw the RAND touch 15.23 against the US dollar before US inflation data fell in line with expectations. US inflation accelerated to 7% in the last month of 2021, the highest reading since 1982, due to supply constraints, soaring energy costs and labor shortages. However, this did not come as a surprise to the market and therefore keeps the United States Fed's tapering timeline intact, with the first interest rate rise expected as early as March. The RAND and its EM counterparts are expected to trade in narrow ranges for the first part of the week, with US markets closed for Martin Luther King Day today. Locally, attention will shift to the data calendar, with inflation data and retail sales figures out on Wednesday. That's it for this week's edition. If you'd like to chat about any of your currency requirements, please get in touch with us on 021-418-0105. For Currencies Direct Weekly Podcast, my name is Justin Ludovic.